So here's how I get the fuck out of my tracks. I do the, the three step process. First one is uh, trying to kind of fly, make the track sound cooler, which usually means boosting with uh, the SSL G channel waves plugin, the old one. Uh, when I boost with this one, it, it gives character. It's bold and you know, you hear it. So let's say I got this sax track. I want to give it a little bit more body, maybe around 600. A little bit more low end. Cut the 20 just for safety. It's a little bit harsh around 3K, narrow, so I'm cutting it a little bit. Okay, so that's the first step. Second step, find the place in the mix for the, for the track. Usually that's even more boosting. Exaggerating the stuff I want to hear, you know, instead of turning the volume up, I find out what frequency ranges I want to hear and just turn those up instead. Sometimes even lowering the fader on this plugin, so the low end kind of gets... If I boost mid, I actually end up taking the fader down, which in turn turns down the bass. So that's a good way of making stuff heard without just raising the volume. So here we go, make it sound even cooler in the mix. I hear that I need, I hear that I need even more um, uh, low end, uh, maybe like 200. Even like a low shelf, boost the bass of it. Once I did that, I'm cutting at 50 or whatever. Six. And then I want the high end, eight and a half might be cool. So I basically boosted the volume with EQ. And I'm cutting a little bit more, 3K. That's my EQ to make it, to give it a place in the mix. And then there's fixing problems. I think this is a little bit harsh in the 3K kind of area. That area. I don't need that. It's kind of in the way for the some of the hi-hat drums and the vocals. So I'm gonna get rid of some of that. I might do a, a, a static cut. I might do uh, a dynamic cut. Now I'm out to fix stuff. I don't want to give it character, so I don't need SSLG. And this is much quicker to much quicker to cut with the Q3. You can sweep around. You can do dynamic stuff. So. That's the EQ, the three-part EQ that I did with the saxes, giving it some character, uh, and then listening to it with the mix, uh, making sure that it's heard in the right ranges with EQ boost on both of them, and lastly, fixing problems in itself or in, re in relation to other parts in the mix. SSLG for the boosts, Pro-Q3 for the cuts. That's how I EQ the shit out of my tracks. See ya. Bye.